room in every situation that I strove with my mind all my keys and burdens unto you I roll Father 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 Oh Father 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 O oh, Spirit 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 O oh, Spirit 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 Father we thank you again for the opportunity to look into your word opportunity to hear your word opportunity to take our place in dominion opportunity to rule over the forces of darkness everlasting father ask this moment that let every word that comes forth come with life with power and with your presence in the name of jesus christ let every captive hearing the sound of my voice receive liberty this minute in the name of jesus christ thank you father be glorified forever in Jesus' precious name. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. Praise God. I bring greetings in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. As you must have noticed by now, I'm physically absent as a result of a very important conference that I have to be part of outside the city of Abuja. But I believe strongly that the word, the power and the presence of God um, has no limits. It's not limited by any means. And so the power of God is present to touch you and expect your miracle this moment in the name of Jesus Christ. I started a teaching on Sunday and I'd like to conclude it today. Faith for victory over demons, witches and wizards. Faith for victory over demons, witches, and wizards. And this is part two. Amen. The very important subject at such a point because many believers have so little spiritual knowledge on this subject matter. And just like physical ignorance or mental ignorance can lead to a lot of limitations, worse than that, spiritual ignorance can lead to disaster. The Bible says, my people perish for lack of knowledge. When spiritual knowledge is lacking, people perish. And many are perishing today due to lack of knowledge. And many of us have begun receiving our liberties and our freedom on Sunday, and we will push further today. I'll read Hebrews chapter 11, verse 33. Hebrews 11, verse 33 on the matter of faith. In Hebrews 11, 33, the Bible says, who through faith subdued kingdoms, rough righteousness, obtained promises, stopped the mouths of lions. My emphasis there, stopped the mouth of lions. If you look at verse 34, it says, quenched the violence of fire escape the edge of the sword I will stop there quench the violence of fire escape 
the edge of the sword. When you look at stop the mouth of lions, quench the violence of fire, and you look at escape the edge of the sword, it suggests just one thing, and that is the fact that the believer is an overcomer by faith. In Ephesians chapter 6 verse 16 again, he said, above all, taking the shield of faith. Taking the shield of faith. Wherewith you will be able to quench all the arrows, the fiery darts of the wicked one. Amen. So it's important to know that through faith we can shut the mouth of lions. Through faith we can quench the violence of fire. No matter how violent the raging fire is, no matter how violent the raging storm is, by faith it can be quenched, it can be stopped. No matter how roaring the lion is, no matter how wicked and brutal the lion is, by faith the lion can be stopped. By faith the lion can be, his mission can be aborted. And I pray this moment in the name of Jesus that any demonic lion on mission, that mission is aborted concerning your life in the name of Jesus Christ. And every violence of fire raging against you, I declare it is quenched now in the name of Jesus. What is the objective of our study today? The objective of our study is to know majorly, just one major thing, to know what to do in the midst of demonic or witchcraft confrontations and attacks. What, to know what to do in the midst of demonic witchcraft confrontations and attacks. We have established a lot on this subject on our superiority over witches and wizards, what God, where God has placed us and what God wants for us. All right? But that doesn't mean that the devil will not look for trouble. The enemy looks for trouble, witches, wizards, and the rest of them look for trouble. They look for trouble in order to find out who is oppressible or not. So we need to know, in the midst of demonic confrontations, witchcraft confrontations, attacks, what happens? I'm yet to know of any man, any woman, no matter anointed, how great or how small, I'm yet to know of anyone who became mighty, great, important, relevant without certain levels of confrontations at one point or the other. Remember the story of the Archbishop Benson Idaosa of Blessed Memory. How that they needed a land to build a church and the only land the village gave them was the land where the, 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 the shrine of the, of, the, of the God of the land was. And when some members went there, in, intending to cut the place down because it has been given to them for free, the village people came, some of the elders, and were like, if you touch this thing, whatever happens to you, you are on your own. And when Archbishop Idaosa heard it, he decided to go with them. And himself was there, and they cut down everything, burnt everything. And that is where um, the miracle center is seated today. Amen. In the place where confrontation came, but they overcame the confrontation. The same thing happened with God's servant, Baba Kumui, many, many years ago, when they were given a land in a forest, and it was even forest. Say, well, if you can take this land and build your church, then it's yours. And it was known that there was a very mighty serpent, very big snake that lived in that, in that forest as a god. And on the day when God's servant, um, Pastor Kumui, got there with some members, these serpents came out physically and to confront them. Of course, many members ran away. Others ran away. It was remaining only Pastor Kumui. When they returned later, they were thinking they were coming to pick the corpse of Pastor Kumui. They only met him standing and they met a mighty snake that was dead on the ground. Obviously, through the power of the presence of God, that serpent was slaughtered and that place a church was built. Amen. So you, you can see that many times before we can break through into certain realms of 
exploit glory, we come face to face in confrontation with the oppressions of witches and wizards. We have so many stories that I may not have the time to go into right now. Confrontations with satanic, demonic forces. Is it the one of coming around the church to see charms or see pots and all manner of um, things placed around the, 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 the place close to the church that we had to kick it off and destroy it? Or is it one of coming and seeing um, talisman on, on the church signpost with so many confrontations? You must understand that confrontations are real. That's what I'm trying to say. Not to be ready for confrontation is to be taken by surprise. That is to think that the devil will go to sleep because you are great or because you are powerful, because you are anointed, is to tell yourself a lie. And one of the greatest, greatest um, things that can, disasters that can happen to anybody in the midst of warfare is not to be aware of his enemy or where his enemy is coming from. The Bible says we must not be ignorant of the devices of the devil. Satan is our enemy. He has his agents, which is wizards. He operates through demonic powers. Not to be aware of your enemy is a problem. Now, not to know where the enemy is coming from is a serious problem. That is why it's important for us to equip ourselves with knowledge as far as this is concerned. Note the following. Number one, we know that the devil moves about like a roaring lion seeking who to devour. First Peter chapter 5 and verse 8, we can read that there. First Peter chapter 5 and in verse 8. It said, be sober, be vigilant. Because your adversary, the devil, as a roaring lion, walketh about, seeking whom he may devour. So he has an assignment, he has a mandate, and that is to devour, and that is to destroy. He's moving about, seeking whom to destroy, like a roaring lion. So the enemy is on a devouring mission is on a mission to destroy. This must never be forgotten. Seeking whom he may devour. Seeking whom he may devour. The devil is moving about like a roaring lion in the day, in the night, in any community, in any nation of the world. And what he is doing is seeking who is devourable. But I'm glad to announce to you that as a child of God, you are not devourable. And every devouring mission of the devil in your life is terminated right now in the name of Jesus Christ. You are not devourable. You cannot be devoured by any devil. You cannot be devoured by any witch, by any wizard. You cannot be devoured. You cannot be destroyed. I declare right now in the name of Jesus Christ, every devouring right on in your life, around your life, I set them on fire right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Point number two. The devil and his agents are still at work today, carrying out their evil agenda. Understand that. I said, number one, Satan is still moving about him and his agents like a roaring lion, looking for him to devour. They still destroy, they kill. They do a lot of evil. I said, number two, they are still at work today, carrying out their evil agenda. What is that agenda? In John, John chapter 10, verse 10, John 10, 10, the Bible said that the thief cometh not, but for to steal, to kill, and to destroy. So, the devil and his agents want to steal something from you, want to kill something in and around you, or someone in and around you, want to destroy your life and destroy the life of people. That is the agenda of the devil. It's an evil agenda, and until the enemy is on the last day when the enemy is cast out into the bottomless pit, when he's thrown into hell, until that day and moment comes, that agenda of the devil cannot generally cease. Nations of the earth will hear of abominable things. Terrible abominations are happening on the earth. 
all manner of killings, all manner of bombings, all manner of terrorist attack, all manner of shedding of innocent blood, not just in our nation, Nigeria, but in several nations of the world, this has become the talk of the day. You go to a newspaper platforms, um, news platforms, or you get newspapers, and you will see all manner of atrocities being committed daily. You, you hear of situations where people people give birth to children and then sell the children two million, three million naira for ritual. That, that, that is, people are housed in a place, young teenage girls, men are brought, get them impregnated, they give birth and then offer the children for sale. They just give birth and go, give birth and go. They only is to give birth and go. And the children are carried and sold to people for ritual. All manner of terrible things, very terrible things happening, abominations. These are the evil agenda of the devil. These are operation of demonic forces. They are still destroying. You see, young man walking on the road is mad. That is, he's insane. He's out of his senses. What happened? Demons have, have possessed him. Spells have been launched against him. Manner of evil have been thrown against him and his life is being truncated. Wicked agenda. The devil wants to steal. The devil wants to kill. The devil wants to destroy and he continues to do so. Understand that the enemy is on such a mission. Number three. Not that Satan is still hindering and attacking people. Satan is still hindering and attacking people through his demons and agents. He still hinders people. He still attacks people. In 1 Thessalonians chapter 2, verse 18, very interesting scripture. Paul the apostle gave a description of one of the resistances he faced in his ministry. 1 Thessalonians chapter 2, verse 18, Paul the apostle said, Wherefore, we would have come unto you, even I, Paul, once and again, but Satan hindered us. That's a powerful statement to make. But Satan hindered us. They were going to preach the gospel to the people of Thessalonica, and Satan was putting on manner of hindrances to stop them from doing so. We desire to come once and again. Eventually, they broke through. But he was saying that there was such a fierce resistance from hell. Like all hell breaking loose. People want to step into their destiny, want to step into the place of their assignment. And you see a man of demonic agents hindering them, trying to stop them. Nobody plans church here. Anybody that plans church here is there. This one happens to that pastor. I, I, I know of a, um, an area where any, any pastor, I don't want to mention the place somewhere in one of the states in the Middle Belt, where pastors are always plagued with the demon of sexual immorality, sexual perversion. That is, the moment the man comes and he's trying to be serious and uh, before you know what's happening, the, that attack comes. Is he that is found in homosexualism or he finds himself sleeping around with other women and then the, the, the news will spread and the ministry will be off. A young promising man came up and the whole place was really on fire but somehow he was cut down in the prime of his days. So, we cannot deny the fact that Satan attacks us. You see, these things are being shared, not so that anybody will be afraid, but so that we, can, we will not be ignorant of the devices of the devil. If anybody says to you that Satan is not real, or says to you that um, witches and wizards is imagination of the mind, psychological stuff, uh, if anybody says that to you, uh, it's possible that person may not be living in Africa. Or possibly not living in Nigeria. Uh, because I don't think there's any Nigerian or any African who can make that statement. Even from the time you are growing up, you will be aware that demons are real. Witches are real. Wizards are real. Amen. Many times, some of them are even bold when they are walking on the streets. They say, I see that witch is the strongest of all witches. Amen. So you grow up knowing witches in the neighborhood. Many people don't go to their homes anymore because they are plagued with fear. These ones are witches who have identified that they are witches. Okay? Well, maybe some other parts of the world. But I'm aware that there are many nations, Asian nations, that their own is another, another dimension. Another dimension of witchcraft operations. Another dimension of occultic operations. Demon operations. They hinder people. They attack people. I don't want to go into the depth of certain things. But where did the coronavirus come from? 
Somebody manufactured it. Some people manufactured it. Who are the people? Why did they manufacture it? Why would people sit down to manufacture what will kill people in their hundreds of thousands and shut down the world? What is the, what is the vision behind that kind of operation? So you can see that witches, wizards, demons are in different levels. Whether white or black or Caucasian or Mongoloid or whatever, whatever part of the world you are from, whatever race you are, it is clear that the devil is still attacking people today and still hindering people today through the oppressions of witches and wizards. Hallelujah. Having said this, it's important to state that the devil who came against you as a child of God only came to be defeated. He has only one destiny, one destiny, only one. One destiny for the devil who has come against you and it is to be defeated. It is to fail. It is to crash. It is to fall. It is to be destroyed. You are not the one to be destroyed. The devil is the one to be destroyed. His agents are the one to be destroyed. They are the ones to fall flat. They are the ones to be defeated. The sons of light will never bow to the sons of darkness. The sons of God will never bow to the sons of the devil. The children of God will never bow to the children of darkness, of evil. No, it will never happen. So the enemy that came against you, that came against your family, that came against anyone around you, or came against your finances, or came against anything around you, that devil came to be defeated. I'm glad to announce today, in the name of Jesus, that devil is defeated. In the name of Jesus, demons are defeated. In the name of Jesus, witches, wizards, lizards, and all of them are defeated right now. In the name of Jesus, every, every assignment that any demon agent has been sent to carry out in your life, that assignment has failed in the name of Jesus. As I speak right now, I declare the return of demonic arrows, arrows fired back to wherever they came from. In the name of Jesus Christ, they see siege of hell, the siege of darkness over your life, destroyed right now, in the name of Jesus Christ. He came to be defeated. Jezebel threatened Elijah, and she did that because of some of her demonic progress. She was a, 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 a daughter of a priest. I don't know why I went to marry the daughter of a priest of Baal. So Jezebel was a terrible man. She was, she was diabolic, terribly diabolic. Threatening Elijah, he, he had to run. But the good news was that he returned. And when he returned, he returned with a judgmental fire to destroy. That is to say that the devil will not see your end. You will see the end of that devil in the name of Jesus Christ. Yes, they might say whatever they want to say. The Bible says surely they will say, surely they will say whatever they want to say. They will gather against you. But whoever gathers against you that God does not approve, they will scatter in the name of Jesus Christ. They will scatter in the name of Jesus Christ. In this season, the root of witchcraft oppressions in your life, in your family, I approve them right now in the name of Jesus Christ. In this season, I decree that witchcraft manipulation is terminated right now. In the name of Jesus Christ, witchcraft oppressions responsible for barrenness, responsible for financial difficulty and dryness, responsible for unusual hardship and struggles in life, responsible for a life that cannot settle, life that is roaming here and there by witchcraft oppression responsible for even addictions I know of people who became drunkards not because they love alcohol but because it was released and projected into to them from the covens of darkness we just, just started drinking like that just, and this drinking it is being sponsored by someone who took their names and said make this one useless for me I declare every such kind of witchcraft oppressions around your life that you find yourself in or anyone around your family I declare today it is terminated in the name of Jesus Christ it is terminated in the name of Jesus Christ I declare it is terminated in the name of Jesus Christ 
The intention of this series of message is not just to give you spiritual enlightenment on how to overcome or how, how for you to ensure that the enemy will never ever see you on the floor again, but also that anyone who is already within the grip of the devil, anyone who is already within the harassment and the grip of witches and wizards, anyone who is already held bound by demon oppressions and suppressions and possessions, I declare in the name of Jesus, freedom must finally come. He said, nevertheless he shall turn to the Lord and wherever the spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. I decree liberty is released right now, forcefully in the name of Jesus Christ. Liberty is released right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Your freedom is established this minute. Covens of darkness, altars of darkness are being set on fire. They are being set on fire. Every coven all marine world where you are being disturbed from manipulated from attacked from a release fire judgment there right now in the name of Jesus Christ your freedom is established right now in the name of Jesus Christ I declare dawn in Jesus precious name and the believer will shout a loud amen the question we would answer before I'm done with this teaching this day this evening is what then should I do when I'm confronted or when I'm in the face of an attack because like we have said attacks the devil will attempt the devil will try but what should I do when I discover that I'm either in the midst of an attack or I become a victim of an attack or something has happened around me what do I do at such a point I give you just three of them Number one, what do I do? Don't panic. Don't manifest fear. Don't panic. Don't manifest fear. Why should you not panic or manifest fear? No, one of the important assignments of the Holy Ghost, the Bible said, it will bring to your remembrance the things that I have told you. It will bring those things to your remembrance. All right, so the Spirit of God will remind you of what you need to be reminded of in the midst of confrontations. Don't panic, don't manifest fear. How do you come to the point where you will not panic or manifest fear? You remember who you are. In First John chapter 5, verse 4, the Bible said very clearly, whatsoever is born of God overcomes the world. And this is the victory that overcomes the world, even our faith. Whatsoever is born of God overcomes the world. Are you born of God? Are you a child of God? Then you overcome the world. First John 4, 4. He said, you are of God, little children, and have overcome them. For greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. You must refuse to panic in the face of an attack. When you see certain movements, whether in the day or in the night, or you see certain oppressions around that are this, that, 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 that are designed to destroy when you see those things around or you sleep and you have a dream and you wake up and you saw that kind of attack you don't you don't wake up panicking you don't you don't rise up and manifest fear rather you manifest audacity fearlessness why because you have to remember who you are anytime you are anywhere and there is a shaking just remember who you are but it's so important. Remember who you are. The Bible calls the devil a roaring lion. It is like a roaring lion. And one important thing about lions is, is that lions sense fear. They sense fear. Lions sense fear. Okay? Uh, uh, someone said, and, and it's, it's very popular, that when there's a a person finds himself face to face with a lion and, and all that said one of the things to do is be still just be still and stand don't move don't don't let your your your, your heart beats not increase just just be calm say the lion would come and move around if he doesn't sense fear 
it will be to him like this one is not food and he will leave that is normal that's not spiritual self that's just normal the devil senses fear when something is happen, happening you must you must deliberately refuse to panic imagine in Mark, Mark chapter 4 when the, the disciples and Jesus were crossing Jesus said let's go to the other side and they were going Jesus was sleeping and then there was a mighty storm and water began to pack into the, 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 the boat and it was sinking the Bible said that they were afraid and they went and cried to Jesus and said, don't you care that we perish? When Jesus rose up, he rebuked the wind. He didn't panic. He didn't panic. It will happen. You will find yourself once in a while, or at times in the midst of attacks, in the midst of something is going on. That is not the time to fear. That is not the time to panic. That is the time to remember who you are. Rem remember the child of whom you are whenever you sense any danger around jesus said to them where is your faith then he said why did you why, what was the essence of this fear where where is it why are you afraid so don't panic don't manifest fear I, i'm deliberate with those words don't manifest fear manifest fear means you begin to do things that clearly show that fear has overrun you that's the manifestation of fear you know in psalm 23 David said, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of, uh, the, the, the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for thou art with me. He didn't say there will be no evil. He didn't say I won't, the, the temptation of fear won't come. He said, I will fear no evil. I will means I, will, I choose, I make the choice not to be afraid. Don't panic. I said it on Sunday. When you fear, your spiritual weapons are, dis they are, they are, they are removed. They are, that is, you are disarmed. You, have you, anybody who is going to war and goes afraid will be defeated. So you see soldiers charging themselves up, singing all manner of songs. Mora, hey, mora, mora. Singing all manner of songs. And they come to such a point where you will notice that fear has disappeared and then they will move. It's called charge. That's what it's called. They are giving charge before war. They come and they say certain things that are very brutal and dangerous to them. And by the time those, that charge has happened, those guys are ready for anything. That's when they go to war. But if they went to war afraid, they are already defeated. It's a sign of defeat already. Don't panic. Don't manifest fear. What you fear shows Satan what he can do to you. That what you are afraid of is showing Satan the area he can attack you. That is why Job said in Job chapter 3 verse 25, he said, the things that I greatly fear have come upon me. The things I dreaded have come upon me. So my fear created room for these things to come upon me. Don't forget that. In the book of Judges chapter 7, I'll give you a quick analogy there and then I move on. In Judges chapter 7, Gideon was going to battle with about um, 32,000 military men. And then God looked at them and said, no, Gideon, if you go with these people, they, there will be a problem. Reduce them for me. Tell them, number one, anybody who is afraid, Judges chapter 7 verse 3, anybody who is afraid should go back home. Anybody who is afraid right now should go back home. You know what? The Bible said out of 32,000, 22,000 went back home. That is, out of 32,000, 22,000, that is 69 percent were afraid. What that means is that about 69 to 70 percent of believers are afraid of the enemy. And God said, in that state, you cannot, you cannot, you cannot face your enemy. No, no, no. In that state, you will be defeated. Do you remember how David brought down Goliath? He refused to manifest fear. What about the other, the, the, the army of Israel? Amen. What about them? They were afraid. The Bible said, even saw, they all hid. But when David came, he said, who is this uncircumcised Philistine? It's fearlessness. His fearlessness was a weapon that I'm sure, first of all, disarmed Goliath. Because the, Goliath will be wondering, how will this small 17, small boy like this not be afraid of somebody like me? What, what is he relying on? What is he depending on? 
That's when you started hearing Goliath. The Bible said Goliath had cursed David in the name of his gods. So the, the thing was a, 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 a spiritual battle. That, that stone and that, all those things you saw, all those ones were the physical dimension of it. Goliath had cursed David by his gods because he noticed that Kai, this boy, there must be something. He took it to the realm of spirits. He cursed him by his gods. And if he cursed him by his gods, and he became afraid and jittery and became disarmed, then Goliath will destroy him. When he cursed him by his God, David fired back, and I'll come there shortly. He too fired back and cursed Goliath in the name of the Almighty God. Before long, Goliath was down. There's only one person who is going to be down at the end of the battle, and that is the devil and his agents. Only one will be down. You cannot be down and you will never be down in the name of Jesus Christ. 69 to 70% out of here lost the battle. No time to go into the depth of that. Another 30,000, about 9,700 were disqualified due to indiscipline and unseriousness. Then just 1% went for the battle. 1%. 1% were fearless and disciplined and alert for the battle. Amen. This is why it's important for us to address this matter. We cannot have 1% of believers ready for devil, witches, and wizards. We can't have 1% of believers ready for battle. We can't have only 1% of believers. No. It ought to be far beyond that. Far beyond that. And I declare, you will no longer be among those who are jittery and afraid in the face of the devil in the name of Jesus Christ. Story was told a man by name Smith Wigglesworth many years ago. His wife was not around. He was alone at home in the night. And then all of a sudden he began to hear noise in his parlor. Rikiti, scattering things in his study room. And he came out from the still room was like, oh, nobody's in the house with me here. And by the time he got to the study room, he saw something sitting down on the chair. The thing was sitting down with black face, red eyes, like a, 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 a one kind of hip creation, and was just jumping and shouting on the chair. When he looked at it and he saw it, you know what he said? He said, oh, devil, I didn't even know you are the one. I won't have bother myself to come. And he returned to sleep. He didn't pray. He returned to sleep. The devil disappeared by himself. He returned to sleep. David Yongisho of South Korea said he went to Japan. They called him for a program. And when he got to Japan, in his hotel room, in the night, so all of a sudden, he opened his eyes and he saw a creature beside his bed, looking at him face to face. He said the first thing that happened was that fear gripped him. And the creature said, you came to my territory, you want to come and set people free, I will kill you today. He said fear gripped him. And he started saying, you cannot kill me. I rebuke you in the name of Jesus Christ. I know what the creature said. The creature said, all this one you are saying, you can't do anything because I can see you are afraid. That's what the creature said. You are afraid. I will kill you today. You won't, you won't wake up. I will finish you here today before people come. And then he said, all of a sudden, the Holy Spirit ministered to him and he started firing scriptures. I will come there shortly. Started releasing bullet of scripture. You know what the creature said? He said, are you quoting Bible? He said, yes, I'm quoting scriptures. Because you can't stand scriptures. And the more he fired and fired and fired, the creature said, I will go, I will come back. Said, you can't come back anywhere. And he was firing the scripture, the creature disappeared. He said, right before his eyes, not inside dream, right before his eyes. Japan, oh, Japan. Not Ikotek, uh, uh, Japan. <laughs> Japan. So, you must understand that you shouldn't panic don't panic refuse to be afraid if you are feeling fear fight the fear refuse the fear and one of the ways to deal with the fear is to remember who you are just remember the child of whom you are greater I see that is in me than he that is in this witch than he that is in this wizard refuse to be afraid don't panic don't manifest fear somebody who heard that say I hear number two release scriptures release 
scriptures, scriptures. Some of the, the testimony I just gave now shows you what scriptures can do to the devil. Release scriptures. You know what scriptures are? They are arrows with the mouth of fire. Arrows with the mouth of fire. That's what scriptures are. The scripture is light, and light destroys darkness. John 1, verse 5. It said, The light shineth in the darkness, and the darkness comprehended it not. The darkness cannot overpower it. Let me read the New Living Translation of that John 1 5. NLT. John chapter 1 and in verse 5. Le shata bakasoto baradash. The, the light shines in darkness. The darkness and the darkness can never extinguish it. What about amplified version? The darkness can never extinguish it. Let me see what amplified version says there. Masoka barara sita livre gezida labrahana. And the light shines on in the darkness. For the darkness has never overpowered it to put it out or absorb it or appropriate it, and it is unreceptive to it. That is, darkness can never overpower light. And the, the scripture is light. So f release scriptures. When you are in the midst of danger, in the midst of, don't be saying, ewo, ewo, aye, aye, what is that? Release scriptures, scriptures, scriptures. But it's why it's important for a child of God to have scriptures in the heart. I'm not saying you say this chapter, this verse, this. That's not necessary at that time. You just fire it direct, fire it direct, fire it direct. Who is it that said anything and it come to pass when the Lord have not commanded? Satan, I command you, keep quiet. That fire the enemy. Release scriptures. A man who is who carries scriptures in the heart is like someone a, 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 a warrior with arrows and bow that he, in the midst of battle we just begin to fire them begin to fire them begin to fire them and in those days we, you see some American movies or some Indian movies or those kind of movies native um, American movies you will see the arrows they put fire at the edge. So when they fire it, if it enters a building, apart from the people that it, it can kill, it will set the place on fire. Before you know, the whole place on fire through arrow. You know, they have bombs those days. So just put fire on the mouth of the arrow and release it. That is what scripture is. Jeremiah 23 verse 29. He says, it's not my word like fire that burns the shaft. And, in verse, and, and, and it's not my word like hammer that burns breaks the rock into pieces. So if, if the devil came as a rock, we scatter that devil. If the enemy came uh, in the form of a shaft or whatever, we burn it and consume it out of the way through scriptures. Amen. What more? The word of God is called the sword of the spirit. That's what it is. And what do you use sword for? Do you use it to cut down, to cut down things? In the book of um, Hebrews 4.12 the Bible says the word of God is quick and powerful sharper than any two edges sword ah, yeah. it's sharper it's sharper we use it to cut we use it to dissipate we use it to decapitate the enemy and his agents we use it to destructurize them that is what the Bible says it's sharper than any two edges sword and in Ephesians 6.17 one of the weapons of our warfare says take the sword of the spirit which is the word of God you carry scriptures and you decapitate the devil with it. You decapitate the enemy with it. Don't ever allow Satan to be talking and you don't fire him scriptures. Come to the point that even in the dream you fire people scripture. In the physical you fire scripture and in case you didn't release the scripture in the dream, when you wake up from the dream, fire the scripture. Because many of the things that happen in the dream, there are operations in the realm of a spirit that if you, are not, if you are not spiritually capable, a person can be crippled from the dream and wake up crippled. A person can be slapped in the dream and wake up deaf. We have had those cases, plenty of it. Plenty, so plenty. Wake up from the dream with painful neck. Meanwhile, in the dream, there was a fight and somebody pressed the neck. I've seen so plenty of those cases. Plenty of them. 
All right? So you, 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 you confront with scriptures. Don't panic but fire scriptures. When you rise up from such dreams, begin to release scriptures. Forget about any other thing and just, just get scriptures and fire, 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 fire. Those are arrows you are firing. I want you to learn something important. Don't allow anything that you sense Satan is doing to go too deep before you address it. Because son, Dr. Paul said one day he was walking in the house and suddenly he felt a sharp pain on his chest. Walking in his parlor as if somebody fire arrow into his chest. So painful. He said he immediately stood there and started shouting and then that is shouting with scriptures and prayer and then he said he fired it back and the, the pain left. One day I was driving. Driving, my family was just driving, coming from somewhere and all of a sudden there was a very sharp pain right on my chest as if somebody just took up just hit me something there or just pierced me something there right on the on the steering i returned the thing back to wherever it came from this over four five years now it has never i've never felt that return it back to sender so you don't allow 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 how do i put it now you don't allow the sea to germinate you now be looking for how to deal with it up and down. No. You attack the devil. From the moment you start sensing the devil's oppression, you attack it fast. You, you fire it fast. Don't be lazy about it at all. I've realized by experience. I've realized there were certain things that at the, the time that I saw the first time, I didn't confront them. Then allowed it for some months and then just realized that I needed a more brutal confrontation to tackle them. No, so from that time, if, I'm, if the enemy came, I tackle him on the spot. Amen. You wake up and say, Satan, that dream is a useless dream. And you don't just say, you fire scriptures. Number three, and finally, how do I deal with confrontations when I'm face to face with them? When I've seen that I'm in the midst of Satan's attack, what am I going to do? Number three, reverse their oppressions through brutal prayers. Reverse it. Rever there is nothing the enemy has done that cannot be reversed reverse their operations fire it back through brutal prayers especially praying in the spirit i will explain why so in Isaiah 54 verse 17 the bible said no weapon formed against thee shall prosper and every tongue that rises against thee in judgment thou shalt condemn you shall do what you shall condemn you look at it if he say every tongue that rises against you. So if they are releasing things against you, declare things against you, you will do what? Condemn. Condemn it. How do you condemn it? By releasing a counter. You know, um, there are a lot of improvements in technology and it has gone very dangerous now where nations will release missiles. Recently, Iran released missiles against Israel and Israel had air security whereby as the missiles were coming over 80% of them were destroyed by the, the anti let me call it out, the anti missiles that Israel had just went in the air and neutralized whatever is, um, um, Iran was sending and they, they have it in three layers like that the one that can destroy things in the atmosphere before it enters into the space of Iran or of Israel the one that would destroy 300 kilometers to the sites of where they are, it's, it's coming to and the one that will destroy it when it's a bit more close by they, they just destroy the missile of the devil that is what praying in tongues does the missile has been released but you fire your own and you, you scatter whatever it is and you can go for and fire more and re release your own to their camp and they don't have the capacity to withstand our own they don't have the capacity to withstand it. I normally say that the best way of defense is attack. If you sense an attack is coming in a particular area again and again, stop waiting to feel it and then you go and start praying and fasting. Okay? Once you, you deal with it and you realize that the attack is off you, return the thing back to wherever it's coming from. Because if where it's coming from is destroyed, it won't come again. Brutal, brutal, brutal. 
Isaiah 59, 19. He said, when the enemy comes in like a flood, the spirit of the Lord will raise a standard against him. He will raise, he will raise a standard against him. The spirit of the Lord. And one of the ways to engage the spirit of the Lord is to engage in tongues, in brutal tongues. Those of us, of you who are baptized in the Holy Ghost, and those who are not baptized, you must desire and crave for this divine prayer language for this Holy Ghost fire baptism. All right? It, 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 it will destroy the oppression of the devil. Let me put it this way. When they do their rubbish, they do incantations to release whatever spell they are releasing. When we pray in tongues, we also do incantation. Because when they are doing their spell and all those their things, they don't understand what they are saying. So we switch to what, we, what they don't understand too. God servant, my father and Lord, Dr. Paul said, when you are confronting a battle you don't understand, deal with it in the language you don't understand. They sent somebody a threat of death. They are going to kill him, wrote some stuff, and they put bullets inside and sent. Went to meet Dr. Paul. He said, what is this? Okay? He said, all right. Reply them in tongues. He says, how do I do? He says, speak in tongues. And as you are speaking, it to be typing it like that, send it to, to the phone number like that. They say, ha, ah, okay, let me help you. So as he's tonguing the tongue, the, as he's hearing the tongue, leke, paka, la, raba, anda, like English, he, he's type, putting it like that, putting it, and sent it to them. They call back. So what is this? Sorry, we don't understand. He called Dr. Paul. He said, tell them it is the incantation of your priest. It's, so you have diabolic priests also a priest it is my priest that sent incantation they call back later and say sorry it was a mistake they have never, never heard of those people again never heard of those people again amen, never heard of them again so you reverse whatever the oppression of the devil through brutal prayers and praying in the spirit brutally fire it back don't be, don't be a civilian in the midst of warfare you die a casualty. You end a casualty. We are, we are spiritual militants. Yes, spiritual military men, spiritual soldiers. We must not, we must not allow ourselves to be shaken at it and to, for the enemy to just ride upon us like that. Hallelujah. Amen. This three will help you to, in the midst, if you ever find yourself in the midst of a confrontation you sense it because many times what your spirit senses is what is happening don't take it for a ride either you sense it or or you have already started feeling like something has attacked your body or you already started hearing that they say some somebody is uh, taking your name to a shrine or any time you are in the midst of a confrontation or attack by demons which is always us don't forget these three points First, don't panic. Don't manifest fear. Secondly, scriptures, fire scriptures. And if you are in such a place and time where it will, it will be, it, it, you have the liberty, why not pick your Bible? You can pick your Bible. All right? You can pick your Bible. David fired so many of those such missiles when Saul was looking for his life. So you can just go to your Bible. The scriptures you already know you can go to. Or you can just go to some of the book of, the, of Psalms and just help. Just, just release some of those, those brutal things that David released. Just fire them back. Fire it. Fire the enemy with them. And then, number three, enter into brutal prayers. Amen. At this point in your Christian journey, you shouldn't be asking whether a person should pray long or not pray long. Amen. Prayer is defined by the result it's com it has commanded. So if you have to pray long to see what you need to see, please pray long. Please pray long. There are things you declare, they disappear. There are other things you pray long and, and they may still be there. And you need to stretch it and add some fasting to it and check that devil back to it. Don't forget as I round up Matthew 17 verse 21. They came to Jesus and they said, why could not we cast this devil out? And Jesus said to them, this kind, this kind, goeth not out except by prayer and by fasting. Engage prayer, engage fasting when necessary. Once in a while, leave food aside and face your destiny and settle some matters. 
once in a while. Just push food to one side, push movie to one side, push this to one side, push all these unnecessary, just push them to one side and face what will help your life. And tell the devil today, I'm, I will deal with you. Whether three days fast, one day fast, seven days fast, or as you are led, whether it is dry fast, or breaking every day, or whatever fast, just ensure that your heart is engaged in it. Do it brutally heavily. You will see yourself break the backbone of witchcraft and a point is come finally where it is witches that will be afraid of you, not you afraid of them. Now, when they hear your name, they will say, Paul, I know. Jesus, I know. And they will mention your name too and say, you, I know. In the name of Jesus Christ, shall we rise up on our feet and lift up our hands to heaven and just go ahead and appropriate what we have heard. Just pray in the spirit. 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 Appropriate what you have heard. Appropriate what you have heard. Pray in the spirit. Pray in the spirit. Pray in the spirit. Let us see the lead the labrado si telebregeri rebasira. Let us see the lead the zid the labrado si telebregeri. In the period of si telebregeri labrado zari. Let us go para. Rato soto mande le preke zoto le pre. Ente le pere do zike le pere de bozing le de preke de. Le te kabararo si te pre de zi de preke di la tora. Ente le preke to zono preke de 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 preke do zia da. Ente le preke zi te le preke do la prakata ya. Le te kapele ke soto bele ke le preke zo de le preke de. Ente le preke zoto lo preke de le de preke do le de preke de. Zi de preke zo te le pere de zi de le preke de le te le re. Zide <laughs> In the name of Jesus Christ, we pray. To pray as we pray, very important. I say, Father, in Jesus' name, thank you for opening my eyes through your word to me tonight. In the name of Jesus, go ahead and pray. Thank you, thank you for opening my eyes. Thank you, you opened my eyes. You opened my eyes. Through your word. You open my eyes tonight. Let's see the league, see the leaper ready, see the leaper ready. He come a lazo do brigade, the leader, see the leaper, the leader, see the leader. In the leaper, the dula parada, see the leaper, the dina, the brigade, those are the banana. A leper red to see Kalido, see the brigade, a see the papala to see clear the brigade. A leper red to call the brigade, see the leper, the bozo. A leper red to see the leaper, the dina, the brigade. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. We are going to pray this one very brutally and very heavily because I said so strongly in my spirit that this is the prayer for the hour, and that is the reversal and the return of arrow of witchcraft to wherever it came from. Arrows must be returned to wherever they came from. Back to the covens of darkness. So you are going to pray and say, Oh Lord, oh Lord in the name of Jesus, name of as, Jesus I now, as I pray right every now, every arrow of darkness arrow fired, of darkness, against, me, fired against, against me, against my health, against my, health, against my, resources, against my resources, against my family, against, my against family, any aspect of my life, of my that, life arrow of darkness, that arrow of darkness, I receive you I re and fire you fire back you. to sender. Back to in the name of Jesus, go ahead and pray, go ahead and pray. Go ahead and pray. Zike li ke zike le pere le siti la kapa. Le kamporolo siti le brege le 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 le
Every arrow from the pit of hell, every satanic demonic witchcraft arrow, return back to send in the name of Jesus. Return back to send in the name of Jesus. Return back to send in the name of Jesus. Back to where you came from. 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 In the name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. One more prayer, and then I'll pray for you. Father in law, Dr. Paul shared with us how a lady in our family. When they have elderly people there, when it's time for somebody, elder person to die, a younger person will die, and the person that is elderly that was sick will become well. Continue like that. And young people were dying and dying and dying. When herself came on that terrible, is it cancer? One of these sicknesses, terrible. Took her to the hospital. They checked her and, and she was dying. She ran to church. She was prayed for. She was healed. And then this young lady a month, two or three later, had an accident. The car, oh God, the, 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 the car carried her, put her under the car, and carried her and was dragging her on the road. Breaking the, 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 the hip, breaking, just injuring her and breaking bones. Then she was going again gradually. And they, they, she was brought again to God's heaven. And when he saw this, his spiritual daughter, ah, what is this? He said, as he, he looked at her, he saw death. And he said to her, this is death. And he went to us and lay on her and said, back to where you came from. Back to where you came from. The power of God searched through that lady. God healed her. And then she was able to walk normally uh, uh, with time. But then, after that prayer, just about... A week or so later, seven of elders in the family died, including her father. One by one. That is, those elders who have been using their life to exchange the life of younger people. One, this one will die, the next day this one will die. As at the time she was sharing the testimony, the seven of the, 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 the elderly cops, that's people who are 90-something, 80-something, don't want to die. Killing young people of 30, 40. All the corpses were lying down. The seven, including her father, they were waiting in the mortuary for burial. That would be mass burial. All of them, brothers and uncles. Seven of them, all laid to rest. And from that moment onward, young people didn't die anymore. See that? Satanic, demonic, witchcraft operations. So you are going to pray now for the last prayer before I pray for you. And this is the prayer. Father, 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 every coven of darkness, every coven of darkness altar, of darkness, altar of darkness, interested in my life, interested in my, in life, my case, in my case right, now, right now, you are set on fire. Set on fire. Go ahead and pray in the name of Jesus Christ. Set on fire. You are 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 set on fire. 
Every altar of darkness, every covenant of darkness, interested in my life, interested in my family, interested in my children, interested in my wife, every covenant of darkness, interested in anything that pertains to me or anyone connected to me. Interested in my parents, interested in anyone connected to me. You all thou of darkness, catch fire. You are set on 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 fire. Like a copo sick and leperele city. Lepereke toko parada city. Lepreke zoto le melega city. Set on fire. You are set on fire. You are set on fire. Let Fire. You are set on 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 fire. Burn. Leketo kopagasa. The agents out that are that are operating you. You are set on fire. The coven, the altar, and the agents there are set on fire. Lekwatwane kasan dele predia. Exile freketole de bregedia la bara. Fire. Shakala parata. He come on a silly telemato, recommend the circle like a tolamana. Fire, 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 in the name of Jesus. We pray, Amen. Masakula, we carry up one operation that I pray for you. Seven times. Make declarations. And I'm going to shout Holy Ghost. When I say Holy Ghost, I want you to shout fire. Le kazike le fele si te lida baza ada one two three seven. And when I get to the seventh one, I say Holy Ghost, just keep shouting the fire and pray. Le ke sopra altars are catching fire. Mighty deliverances are happening. Healings, deliverances, signs, wonders. Le ke to sopra kata reversal of the irreversible. Le ko sopra ke to arrows are being pulled out of your body. Return back to where they came from. Le ke sopra ke ti le ti ze ti le ti zo zidi. This craft of pressure. And mysteries around your life have been arrested right now. Like a Zoto Baragazini, like I had a Bazunia. And now, Father Lord, I ask Heleparoa the neutralization of witchcraft, demonic attacks, satanic attacks. I ask this moment for covens to be set on fire, altars of darkness set on fire, serpentine altar, crocodile altar, Liketosa, Breketula, Bandit, demons responsible for manipulation, setbacks, Lekosopre, mysterious poverty. Lack and want, emptiness, dryness. Le koko pa na kasike le ketigi le galazara. Le da kapando so prekete on timely death. Le ko let marriage. Le kwaswatwa la preketo le ba. Let conception of the womb. Eli ke kwatwande le kesite le feritosa. Broken homes, terrified marriages. Le kateke keteke kusi ke liti. Eko poroto frustration, disappointment. Why me rejection? La kwatwa la teske de like so kantebla la koko to parata city like so break it on the balakata. Father, let fire be seen those things right now. Let the mystery be dissolved. Let the witchcraft mystery be dissolved. Let the witchcraft mystery be arrested. Let the witchcraft mystery be dissolved. Arrested, dematerialized, and let the arrow be fired back to sender. Like to go back as a deal like a sunia. Ele koko poroto sunia. Like a swatele break a toss cotomila cantile 
Tini, Lika Katwa, Lika Kesiti, Ike Pipeledisa, Lata Quatwa, Twas Catale Tesina, Le Quatwa, Pereketia, Sekika Caponi, Le Catoli, Piperidisi, Bangwa, Latwa, Lika City, Fariti, Sete Liketona, Zagua, Letwa, Teke Kesikiliti, Le Braca Sotome Leketua, Let it fire for now, in the name of Jesus, one fire, Holy Ghost. Bashada, Balekes, or that's one. And let Ketoko Pele, anything can happen. Everything can happen with you right now. So, Holy Ghost, fire! Let Ketoko Pada, the city of the Basan, the brother. Lick a bracket of free. Holy Ghost, fire! Let the Ketoko Pada, the city of the Lick a bracket of free. Let the Ketoko Pada, the city of the Lick a bracket of free. For Holy Ghost, fire! Saka Pada, the Lick a bracket of free. Let the Ketoko Pada, the city of the Lick a bracket of free. They have been dissolved right now, and they materialize right now. Let get the lepers on the Ferrari, and the breakers on the Alpha Five. Holy Ghost, fire! Shaka balaga da 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 balaga da ba, ika la balaga da balaga da ba, ika da la balaga da da balaga da, ika da la balaga da da balaga da ba. And the breakers on the balaga da ba, she da la balaga da ba. Six, Holy Ghost. Fire! Ya para cante que palo sonia. Ya para cante de que le quería que no vadas. Le que tu compara ti sale le pregueria. Le que tu compara la masinia. El le pregue si de le parar que dia. El le pregue do si de la mala. Basta la ba. Le que te bella que son de la mala que ya la ba. El le pregue de la bella que no. And seven. Holy Ghost. Fire! 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 Zakash! Linke to poro sini la baya. Linke to kopeke sini la baya. Linke to komara sini le baya ya na. Linke perega zoto le perega ni ya na la baya. Linke perega zoti le perega si ya na. Linke perega lega 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 ya na. Linke perega lega 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 ya na baya na. Linke perega zoti le perega si le lita. Shaga na balas. Linke kwatwa le kwatwa. Thank 